a no more stinky monkeys.com production. Billy Joe and Bruce Springsteen both named this group as an influence on their careers. And Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys wrote a song dedicated to them called Don't Worry Baby. Amy Winehouse even did her hair like that, teasing it all the way up to heaven. They are number 179, the Ronettes. Be my, be my, be my little baby. The opening chords to two classic movies, Dirty Dancing and Martin Scorsese's Mean Streets. The song and its beat. Boom, ba dum, boom, ba dum. So exciting and infectious that you almost have to love the movie that it's introducing. Truly one of the greatest songs in rock and roll history and performed by one of its greatest vocal groups. Veronica Ronnie Bennett, her sister Estelle, and their cousin Nidra Talley started singing at their grandmother's house on Saturday nights as small children, working on their act from as young as eight years old. They were fascinated by Frankie Lyman and the teenagers. Being from uh, Washington Heights in Harlem, they didn't have to move to New York to find success, but success did take a while. They performed sort of well at the Apollo Theater on an amateur night, and then got signed by Cole Picks Records in 61, but they had very little hits until they auditioned for Phil Spector in 63. They broke their contracts and signed with his Philly Records. They recorded Be My Baby and it went to number two on the charts. In-house writer Sonny Bono convinced Spectre to use his girlfriend to be a backup singer on the song. And thus, this was the first record that Cher sang on. <laughs> Phil Spectre wrote another classic called Baby I Love You. But the other two Ronettes were sent off on a Dick Clark tour during recording. While uh, Ronnie was backed up on the record by Darlene Love and Sonny and Cher. They had some more classics on the Phil Spector Christmas album, and then they went to tour in England in 64. While there, Ronnie had relationships with both John Lennon and Keith Richards, and they were a huge hit there as well. Then they recorded their last great song, Walking in the Rain, and that summer, and uh, their popularity started to wane after that record went down. Then uh, Ronnie married Phil, and her troubles really began. <laughs> But for a couple of years, as doo was losing steam and the British invasion hadn't come to America yet, they were one of the greatest, they were one of the hottest groups around. Ronnie's big comeback came in 1987 when she sang Be My Baby during Eddie Money's Take Me Home Tonight. Just like Ronnie said from the photograph. 